Hi, I'm Nils Rasmussen with Surface Picks, the North American wall pen sales partner. We're here today to introduce you to the German engineered wall pen vertical printer. In this demo, we'll be showing you some of the features and capabilities of the machine, as well as the business opportunities associated with it. Beside me is the already set up wall pen machine. It's built with premium materials and state-of-the-art software, making it the most versatile and technologically advanced vertical printer in the world. The wall pen conveniently breaks down into eight individual bags, allowing for easy transport to any location. In fact, the entire wall pen system will fit into almost any vehicle, including compact cars. This machine is also extremely versatile when it comes to printing. Drywall is the most common substrate, but as you can see in our showroom, there are plenty of other surfaces in which we're able to complete beautiful high resolution prints. These seven foot by 11 foot canvases were all printed with the wall pen machine, as well as all of these desktops. The wall pen can print on many other surfaces such as glass, concrete, brick, and metal. To be honest, I think we're just barely scratching the surface, no pun intended, on what types of material and substrates we can use to create incredible works of art. Now that you've been introduced to the wall pen printer, let's see the machine in action so we can show you just how easy it is to operate and what makes this the ultimate choice for all your vertical printing needs. Here we are in our training room and I've got a Photoshop document open. We're about to send an image to the print. Let's say you're at a client's location and you're ready to do a print, but they request a last minute change. I'll show you how quick and simple that is and you can do it right before you hit print making this whole process that much more convenient. In this case, we're gonna change Bye Bye Birdie to Bye Bye Borders. So we've made that change right here. With my change made, I'm just gonna set the color profile for this. And then once that's done, I'll verify that everything looks good. Next, I'll save it as a TIFF and open it in the wall pen processor. The wall pen processor is a simple application that gives me all of the controls and adjustments that I need. I'm gonna start by loading the new image that I just created. There it is with our updated change. And now I'm gonna change this to upload to the machine. I've already connected to the machine via Wi-Fi. We can even see exactly how much ink of each color this is using, which is very minimal. Once I've selected the image, I've already got my wall pen set up in the exact position I wanted it, so I can move over to our options. I'm just gonna verify the amount of passes that this is gonna take. We have full control over that. Make sure that we're using bi-directional printing, and I have the option to simulate the print to see if it's gonna fit in the space that I'm working with. In this case, we've already tested that and verified, so I'm ready to hit print. That beeping means it's ready. It's actually scooting ahead to get to the part where it actually needs to print ink, and it's just already running. As this print gets started, you'll notice a few cool things about this printer. Number one, we have these individual mast pieces here. We have varying lengths so that you can get to just about any ceiling height that you want to. And on top of that, you can go up to 13 feet in height from the ground. So this thing can go way high and create huge murals of just about any size you need to. In addition, this is capable of mounting the print head either on the left side or the right side of the mast. If you need to get into a tight corner, you mount it on whichever side is appropriate and you can go quite close to that corner and you can make that work on either side of the room. Another nice feature of the wall pen is that it uses an impressively small amount of ink while it's printing on the wall. All of the ink comes in these small bottles here and then these are used to fill the bags that are located inside the print head itself. Another nice feature on the wall pen is that if you need to, for some reason, refill the ink while it's printing, it's super easy to do. All you need to do is hit pause in the software and then you can open up the side and refill as needed. That said, if you've refilled your ink before you start a print, you'll almost never have to refill it during the print. You can do huge murals off of one set of bags. The software for wall pen allows you to have total fine control over exactly where the print head is when you start the print or any other adjustments you need to make. You can actually get fine tuned down to one tenth of a millimeter or you have the option to manually move any of the pieces or parts that you need to anytime you need to. The track that comes with the wall pen has several key features. Number one, it's got levels built into it and adjustable feet to make sure you start on a perfectly level surface every single time. In addition, it comes with enough track that you can do a huge print, but if you need an infinite width, you can actually take track off the back and move it to the front to keep on going without limits. In addition, you don't actually need to use the track if it's not necessary. You can use the wheels that come with it and you can roll it along an even surface and the front wheels can be tilted or pivoted if you have to work on a curved wall or curved surface. The print head on the wall pen has several unique features built into it as well. There are a couple of lasers, one on top and one on bottom, that are used for distance measuring. 
These can be used to tell you exactly how far the print head is away from the surface that you're printing on, and they can also be used to automate that to keep it within the same distance all the time. As you know, basically no walls are totally plumb straight up and down, so this will allow you to make sure that even if there is a slant to it, it will compensate that with the distance measuring lasers. In addition, the print head has two UV lights, one on bottom, one on top, and what these do is instantly cure the ink, which is totally UV curable, as they print, so everything is dry to the touch immediately. You also have full control over that if you need to tone that down or increase that to full power. Now that you've seen the wall pen in action, let's take a look at the software that wall pen provides with the machine. Now keep in mind that because the hardware and software are made by the same company, they're able to provide regular improvements on the software that actually enhances performance of the hardware. Wallpen prides itself on providing regular updates that make the hardware better and better all the time. There are three main screens in the Wallpen software. We have Select, Position, and Options. The Select screen is where we can choose which files we're going to be working on. What we currently have pulled up is what's called the calibration file. This is the file that we use to make sure that all of the print heads are properly aligned, that the ink is flowing properly, and that the print will come out successfully. We can, however, pull up past prints like this one of the eye, and we can use those to print them later or print the same thing, whatever we need to do. We can also select this rooster. You can, of course, load new images into this screen for printing something new. In this case, I'm going to select the Utah mural image. And once we pull this up and it loads, we now have the option to upload this to the wall pen machine itself over Wi-Fi. When it's uploaded, it will show in the list with the other uploaded files and we can then select that at any time. You do of course have the option to clear these out or to remove these from the storage on the machine or add new ones at any point. Now let's take a look at the position screen. Here we have three different main positioning options. On the right, we can move the height of the print head. As I drag this up, it will actually lift the print head along with it, or we can drag it down and move the print head down. It's pretty straightforward. You have the option to set upper limits and lower limits to make sure that the print head stays within a given range that you define. The software will use those parameters to determine your max image height that you see over here on the left. In our case, 40.4 inches. This helps us to determine if the image that we've uploaded is definitely going to fit on the print area that we've selected. If it doesn't, the third screen, the option screen, will be grayed out at this point. The next adjustment we can make is the wall distance. So using the wall distance slider, we can actually move the print head closer to the wall or further from the wall, depending on our needs. Alternatively, we can just use the three dots here to tell exactly how far away from the wall we want the print head to remain. We typically like to print at about 0.3 inches, so I can just make sure 0.3 is entered here, and then it's gonna move the print head to exactly that distance. The wall pen uses the two lasers that we showed you earlier to determine the exact distance that the print heads are from the wall, allowing you to keep that consistent distance all the time. On the left, we have our horizontal movement. We can move the printer to the left by sliding it down, and we can move the printer to the right by sliding it up. Our final screen is the options screen, and this is where we have fine control over several different aspects of the print itself. Up here in the color mode, we have multiple options for how to print, what colors we're going to use, and in what order. The most common one is CMYK. We have our cyan, magenta, yellow, and our key, which is typically black. With that, we can print on lighter colored walls and we can print pretty much anything we want to at just about any resolution you want to. This is definitely the most common color mode that we use. The next color mode is white only. This is ideal for printing on darker surfaces like maybe a black wall, for example, and you just want to print white ink for your image. It gives you that option and it disables the cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Next, we can print cyan, magenta, yellow, black, and white, the CMYKW. And this is actually very specific, but this allows us to print the colors first, then the black, then the white. This is designed specifically for printing on the back side of transparent materials like glass or plexiglass. And finally, we have our WCMYK, which is pretty commonly used. This is where we lay down a layer of white first and then print our CMYK on top of that. This allows us to get the perfect colors and the perfect brightness, as well as the perfect saturation, even on darker walls. Next, we have the option to use the printing in bi-directional mode or unidirectional mode, up or down. Typically, we like to print in bi-directional mode, which just means that it's gonna print on its way up and on its way down. But there are circumstances in which it might make more sense to only print in one direction, whether that's up or down. The next option is how you start the print. 
whether that's with a laser or direct. For most cases, we like to use the laser because it uses an exact spot using the distance measuring laser to tell us where the print is going to start. That said, there are times when you need to be able to print direct so you have that option as well. The start swath allows you to have total control over resuming a print at a later point. By way of example, let's say you print a really large print and after a full day of printing you're at swath 900 for example. Then the next day you want to come back in and pick up where you left off but you don't want to leave the machine there or leave it on all night then you have the option to just resume starting at swath 900 and then you can continue where you left off and then finally down in our bottom right corner we have the print button to get the print started up here in the top right corner let's take a look at our settings here on our basic settings page we can choose the language that the entire application is presented in we can also choose the release channel. This will give us the option to be on the beta version of the software and get the latest and greatest as it comes out, but knowing that it's not 100% tested and fully released, or we can go to the release channel to have a more stable version. You do of course have the option to change the units that all of your measurements are indicated in. And below here, we also have our design options. You can choose to let the system dictate it or you can specify light or dark mode. And then finally, we have our wall pen connection IP address. This is what allows us to connect the software directly to the machine based on the IP address that it provides. Here on the Wi-Fi screen, we can select multiple networks that the machine will be able to connect to, and you can also opt into over-the-air updates as well. Next is the calibration screen where we have the option to use the calibration print that we showed earlier to get perfect alignment on each of the print heads. This allows you to get super high resolution prints that look sharp and crisp, and it's just a matter of making sure that each of these are lined up based on the printout that we showed earlier. While we won't be covering the details of exactly how we go through that process, it's pretty simple and one that every operator needs to understand in order to make sure you get the ultimate crisp print every single time. Here on licenses and time, we have the option to take a look at how long it's been since we've had the machine, how long it's been in operation, what its current time is set to, and then we can see our license information as well. The ink temperature screen allows us to specify the exact temperature for the print heads of each color. And we typically leave these around 46 Celsius because we found that that offers the best performance. With the print heads, it's important that these be at just the right temperature for optimal printing. If they're too cold or too warm, you're likely to experience issues, but all of these are self-regulated. That means that you don't have to be in a room or an area that has the perfect temperature because the print heads will try to maintain that temperature on their own. Here in the vertical speed settings, we have the option to speed up or slow down the actual vertical print and travel speed as well as the travel speed along the vertical axis for empty swaths. Let's take a look at some of the advanced settings, like here we have dwell time. Dwell time is really handy because if you're printing a really tall print, that means you're adding multiple pieces to the mast and you're getting your print head very high, which increases at least the likelihood or the option for a little bit of vibration. In this screen, you can tell it to pause for a little bit or dwell, in this case for two seconds, on any print that gets above 79 inches. Next, on the UV intensity screen, you can just set this to whatever parameter you need. The recommended here is 80%. There are several different options here in the advanced settings that we can take a look at, but for now, we thought we'd give you at least a quick overview of the powerful software that comes with the Wallpen machine. As we can see, this is employing a feature called intelligent printing. This means that because there's a part of the image that only takes up a certain height, it's not going to use the print head to go all the way up and all the way down. It's only going to do the part of the print that it needs to print. This saves a ton of time on certain prints where you have limited areas of height on the image and you don't need to go back and forth and up and down on the entire thing. As you can see from this demo, we are so excited about the possibilities this machine offers you. And we can't wait to help you start in your journey to creating beautiful art in the vertical printing space. Here at Surface Picks, we're invested in helping new operators not only succeed, but thrive by walking you through every step of the process to ensure your success. We provide all the necessary training to make you feel comfortable operating your machine so you can start making money right away. We also offer various packages that will help provide turnkey solutions so you can focus on your strengths. This machine comes in three different pricing packages, starting at around $45,000 US dollars. We offer various different financing options if needed to help streamline the purchasing process. If you're ready to take the next step, you can talk to one of our sales associates and set up a time to come visit us in person here at our showroom where you can see the printer firsthand. We hope to see you here soon.